everybody just wanted to do a bit of a niche video about how you could um, solve and fix a cascading error in an XML file so this is a situation where you've gone and you validated your XML file and the error is in a weird place normally at the end of the file so this is an example here so I've gone to validate uh, my CFG uh, spawnable types file for day Z and uh, I've got an error right at the end. If we see where the error is, it's right at the end of the file. Now, it's saying that the error is there within spawnable types in like the closing tag. Um, and the error description is, the element type type must be terminated by the matching end tag type. So if we look at the, um, the file, we can see we've got spawnable types at the beginning. And if we go right to the end, We've got spawnable types at the end so that isn't the problem the problem isn't there the problem is further up the file now this file has got 6489 lines on so that could be quite difficult to find however this is one technique you can use when it comes to um say you've been editing a file um and then it doesn't you know it doesn't validate the first thing to do is to uh, if for this technique to work is you must have a, an older version of the file that you can compare it to in terms of the one that you were changing so that's, that doesn't sound really clear so in this particular case I'm updating my CFG gameplay files from 1.18 to 1.19 so I'm adding in different items so what I can do is I can compare this 1.19 file with the 1.18 file and hopefully that will point us in the right direction um, and what has happened is, you know, some point through this, I, I've made an error somewhere. So what we can do is if we go to uh, my 118 file, CFG spawnable types, we edit this with Notepad++. What you need to have is you need to have the compare plugin in Notepad++. I'll put a link in the description below the video. Then all we have to do is go plugin, compare, and compare there, and it will compare stuff. Now, it highlights the differences. Now these differences here on the right, these are all the things that have been added in for 1.19. So I just need to scroll down. If we look on the right hand side, you can see where there's these clear areas, means everything, there's no differences. Then we will come down here. Now what I'm looking for as we're going down, I'm looking for a tag missing, specifically a closing tag missing. Okay, so we're just making sure that, for example here, say in this, these mini dresses, that type is then closed with uh, slash type. Right, there we go. Yeah, see, and it's highlighted it for me here, you see? So mini dress blue dots with whites. In the old file, there was a type there. And as we can see here, before it flicks into the next type for the quilted jacket, there's no closing tag type. So I can just copy that. I can paste that into there save that go back to the validator refresh it choose the file again CFG spawnable types open that up validate no errors are found so there we go so we found so as you can see the error is up here in line 890 whereas the validator said the error was down there in 6495 that's not really a problem with the validator it's because with opening and closing tag tag type errors especially closing tag type errors where you've missed them off or you've misspelled them it cascades right to the end of the file and obviously it wouldn't work um, as a closing statement though if you're wondering how well how did you do this with cfg spawnable types because cfg spawnable types doesn't um, validate very well that's true so if you want to validate your cfg spawnable types daisy file you need to change the uh, the way that they do the remarks where the zombies are let's see if I can find them near the end up there I think where there's vehicles uh, bu -bu 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 vehicles 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 if we do control F find Here we go. So in the vanilla uh, CFG spawnable types, they do the remarks wrong. 
So what they do, well, they don't do the wrong one, they just do it differently. So the remarks have lots of uh, dashes or lots of hyphens, um, and that won't be recognized as uh, valid by an XML validator. So you've got to go through and find and replace all those long remarks. They kind of, they kind of look like this, like that. You've got to change those to ones where you've just got sort of two, um, and that will then validate so you can find your mistakes. Okay, so a little bit of a left field video there, but I thought it might come in handy to somebody. Um, and uh, of course, there's lots of other ways of, of finding errors, but I thought that one might be useful. If you have found that useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.